So, welcome back everybody to the second episode of my Kickstarter series. Today we're going to take a look at Maya, which is basically the love chat between Dungeon Keeper and the Alien film series. You are starting off um, with a small group of colonists and are tasked to build a base suited for their needs and sheltering them from the harsh um, outdoors and environments for, of the, the planet called Maya. This is a ba game that basically has been under development by one single guy that's um, a, the a British developer called Simon Roth. He's actually um, uploaded this already or uh, got this to be Steam greenlit so basically everyone can now buy this the access to this alpha build um, on Steam it's I have to warn you this is an alpha build in the more or less classic sense in that it in this video with um, roughly 50 minutes is one of the longest runs I ever had in uh, in my without um, it simply crashing and me um, subsequently having to to do everything again because there's currently no saving but still I think it's it tells you a great deal about a, a game that even with these crashes I'm coming back to it again and again and having already locked in, uh, locked at this very alpha level, more than two hours into it, considering that the, this consists of stints of only 50 minutes, I think this is quite good. So you start off with a bunch of um, colonists, and you have to build an underground base for them, as well as uh, some. Uh, apparatuses on the surface like stills to collect water and windmills to, and and solar um, panels to generate electricity. I started here on the left side with a workshop that basically lets you build all the basic equipment that you need later on uh, in the other um, door, uh, in the other rooms here, now I'm starting off to build a hypo hypoponics uh, lab, which eventually should let me supply my own uh, vegetables and fruits to my uh, colonists, but I wasn't quite happy with the way it turned out, so just deleted it once more. Now this is the version I wanted it to be. And next to that, I'm, I'm building the the equivalent of the Dungeon Keeper Hatchery, which is called Livestock Container, and it contains a lot of Uber Hoons. I'm playing some doors here, so that you can basically go to into the livestock container in the hydrophonics room and planting here some fruit trees one of the first videos I ever saw of uh, this um, game was a little test by Simon Ross doing or looking how the chicken reacted to different lights lights and and light colors and I try to replicate this here but it somehow didn't work quite the way I wanted so we see that in a minute I've enlarged the storage area here because I want to build a material hopper here in a second to 
you can see here. This uh, alpha, as I said, has quite a lot of um, bugs in it still, but I mean, it's an alpha for a reason. Um, one of them is um, are some slowdowns that are occurring every now and then. So if you see like small stutters, that's because the game currently has this like here. But remember this is an alpha so it's not optimized and it will probably be much more fluid when it, the game releases. So my workshop now has two work tables which you need to basically build all the all the items and on this side I'm letting my so-called import undoubtedly uh, not to the dungeon keeper imps um, to mine a little bit of the the cavern there so I can build a room there as you can see this is the outdoor area At this point it looks really beautiful, you'll see in a second that it can look pretty hostile as well. Mm. These piles of debris you see everywhere are, are, are the materials I've mined by um, destroying the this, this rock and are basically the Basis for all, basis for all items that you're placing. <clears throat> Some items require additional equipment as well, like a 3D printer or a workbench or a drill. And you would see um, perhaps some of it later on. As you can see. There are frequent tremors on this planet as well, so it's not really a nice place. Now I'm filling up here this area in between the, these rooms and deleting this wall. Because I was hoping that I could actually get my colonists to build the the doors that way but they somehow didn't like that idea This stage, I'm planning out the the later living quarters of the colonists here behind the livestock container and the hyperphonic area. But I'm not totally satisfied with it, so I'm making it a little bit smaller. see the sun is setting basically so when the sun is setting and night falls your solar panels will not generate any power so you basically either need solar panels and wind turbines or eventually you have the, the possibility to even get capacitors to store energy as you can see here now I'm wanted to build a research lab but turns out that um, my area is a little bit too small for this so the 
because I don't want it to be cramped I'm issuing some more digging orders here to the import and he's basically excavating the whole thing that down there all the while I'm thinking about building it uh, building doors and already placing some of the the items that go into the research lab Me finishing the research lab, I'm now building just the basic items a desk there, like a little chair before, uh, right next to it, yeah, like that, and a uh, section table is going over here somewhere, yeah, there, some data storage. To collect, uh, to to collect all and store all the data that are, that are, is learned from this and a computer terminal. So perhaps a, an atmosphere generator in the corner here, so no one is suffocating while researching. Yeah. So, some of my colonists still haven't built these um, doors here, and my import isn't considering to, to go over here to mine this, this stuff I've marked, so I'm now a little bit fighting to, to get a door at this particular place where I wanted it, but it somehow won't let me as you can see I'm fighting a little bit with it here so we're slowly coming to an end here I'm keep on fighting to get the door exactly where I wanted it I'll just eventually figure it out and get a few more excavation orders in but then unfortunately my game locks up so I'm just going to say goodbye already in advance and just let you um, let the, the game speak for itself the last few seconds here. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll put a link to the Steam page, Steam store page of this game in the description. I really enjoyed. I love the atmosphere that's conveyed by this, by the art style and the this whole the, the, the whole program itself. It looks very Alienesque, I think, and I really enjoy it, and can't wait to to see what they eventually will do with it, or what what Simon will do with it eventually. So, hope you enjoyed this, and see you on the next episode. Bye.